So we are getting lots of reports both locally and now internationally that they are going after hobby farms and they're taking their chickens away. So here, hear us now. If you're a hobby farm and you're advertising eggs on the side of your road, take your signs down. Go word of mouth. I know you might think it's a money loss, but you need to take your signs down. They are falsely creating another avian flu to take chickens away and stop egg farming and stop chicken farming. You know who your clients are, so contact them directly and let them know you'll still sell to them, but you will no longer have your little marketplace stand at the end of your driveway. It's so important that you keep your chickens. It's so important that we keep our cows and all of that. So anybody who has the market stands at the, at the end of their driveway, please, please, I'm begging you, take them down. You know, I'm sure you know who your clients are. Oh, it's going to rain. I know you know who your clients are. Contact them old school. Contact them by phone. Send them an email. Let them know that they can come in your yard privately and buy from you directly. No longer put those stands that we know of at least two hobby farms in the Harwood area that have been hit and had their chickens removed, confiscated because of their egg stand in front. The Ministry of Agriculture doesn't know you exist unless they know you exist. But it's not only here, it's, in, it's across Canada. It's in the US, we're getting reports from Australia now, so they're gonna manufacture an avian flu to bring away or get away those chickens and those eggs. Uh, and you know what they're gonna do. They're gonna take your chickens to test them and they're gonna PCR you out of chickens. They're gonna make up another thing just to take more food away, just like they're gonna start doing with milk. And we know this because we all saw the private meeting with, with Teresa Tam, where they said, we will keep looking until we find it. We will run those PCR tests until we find it. And now we are seeing that any chicken farmer, hobby farmer within seven kilometers of where they found it, their chickens are being confiscated and murdered. I'm not going to use the word euthanized anymore. Their chickens are being murdered, whether they actually have the flu or not. Right, so hobby farmists, uh, mid-range farmers, don't register your chickens, hide your egg farm, uh, your egg, egg signs. It's super important because there are gonna be a lot of people relying on you for eggs and chicken. And if you used to get your far, your eggs from these people who had the egg stands that are no longer standing, maybe you might wanna become friends with them. Stop keeping the distance between people. We need to get back into relationship with people so that we know who our community is when the government comes down even harder than what they're trying to do right now. So you're talking to the Know Your Rights girl. If they come to your door, make sure you post no trespassing signs. I learned that through you. <laughs> and make sure that you, you question their authority. Ask if they have a warrant. If they If they even have a warrant, uh, or say they do, ask for their authority. What authority do they have to come onto your property and, uh, and test your chickens? Make sure you do not let them on your property. Make sure you prove that they have authority. And then uh, above and beyond all of that, do not comply. If there's no science, there's no compliance. Make them prove the science before before they do anything on your property. And remember, you don't have to answer questions. It is your right to remain silent. It is your right to have a lawyer present at every questioning. It is your right, unless you have an immunity agreement signed, to never answer their questions and never in, uh, incriminate yourself. Do not answer questions. Always have a lawyer present, always. And I know we don't want to deal with lawyers because they're part of the problem as well. But I'm telling you right now, you have the right to remain silent, so remain silent. You have the right not to answer questions. So when the police or bylaw or whoever comes knocking at your door, you say, see my sign on the door? We don't answer questions here. Get off my property. You're not invited. Call your lawyer. Do not comply. Remember, no science, no compliance.